Hello, and welcome back to What's Bubbling a Zim... I am Dr. Abstract, and we're nearly done our bubblings for Zim version Zim02. We have one more to take a look at, and then we have a general one of all of the uh, the other non, sort of non-featured <laughs> features. <laughs> there we go. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. And up here in the banner, let's swipe on back to the beginning, we've taken a look at connectors, the Zim editor, the numpad, Zim loop, the global manager, carousel, the Zim, Zim themes was the last one we looked at. And now our last one, last main feature is the pen. All right, let's go into the Zim pen. Now Zim pen's been around for a while, but check this out. <laughs> Isn't that neat? So it now has this little string that you can pull. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So I'm double clicking to remove that or click and hold. There's a string that you pull on and that string pulls the pen. So uh, what we've got happening here is there's this thing called damping. Damping means that we don't go directly to a value. We go only partway through the va to the value. And the slower you're damping or the, the sort of the more damping there is, um, the smoother uh, it will be because it averages out your sort of movements and gets rid of the bumps. So we've done two things with pen. One is we've improved the pen by using curves. Uh, we had mixed up the equation for that just a little bit and we fixed that up a couple versions of Zimigo to make the pen smoother naturally. But when we did that, we didn't change the damping default. And the damping default was s slower, so it, it would it would made it seem like the pen wasn't following your cursor or your finger uh, directly, but rather was delayed. And that made it smooth, and that was great. However, we didn't have to make it that smooth. So we have increased the speed of the motion controller by default when using a pen, and we've uh, reduced the damping as well. Reducing the damping means actually making the number go more towards one. It's kind of strange that way. Anyway, so we've um, made it so that it's more responsive and faster, and I think that will be great for normal pens. However, still sometimes for art, you like the experience of very smooth and see what's what's happening. And when that's the case, um, when I say see what's happening, is sometimes you want to see under your finger. Like if you're drawing and, and the pen is right on your finger, it's almost like a, a bit claustrophobic. You can't kind of see where the pen is because your finger's in the way. So if you increase the damping on it, then there's the delay. So as you can see, there's a delay. And if, if that little cursor were my finger, I can see where the pen is going. However, they're not connected. So uh, what we realized is people maybe thought that, that Zim was slow or broken. And yet we were actually doing that on purpose. And it's just a physical thing. <laughs> you can't, can't do anything about it. Uh, it's going to be jiggly or more jittery if, if you're directly on or your finger is going to be in the way if you're directly on. So because of those two reasons, you may want to not have the pen directly follow the cursor of the finger. However, it does look like they're separate. So uh, we thought, hey, maybe people will understand this. It's almost like we're pulling the pen along with the string. You can see that we're completely fast. Zim, if it wanted to, can can be right where the cursor is. <laughs> and yet um, it, it uh, still allows us for that separation and smoothness. Yay! So that's what we did. And if we turn this off, double click this, you can, I think it's shift click and all of them will go away or shift control click, I can't remember. Anyway, um, now we're not pulling and it seems slightly disconnected. I don't, I didn't mind, I never mi minded, but um, some people didn't quite understand. So what does this do anyway? Oh, maybe we can't tell until we, let's see. Oh, that's the size of the pen, oh, okay. And we can even download it. Oh, it's a little mini app right, right here. Let's try that uh, shift click. Nope, that was just one control shift click. Ah, there they all go. So control shift click and they all go. Um, so we can make little ones. Oh, nice. And we can make really fat ones. Blip, blip. Like so. There we have a couple fat ones. We can connect the little ones to it and make a diagram. Oh, crap, that's a fast one. Double click. Make another skinny one. Uh-oh. 
This one's going to have to come down if we want to get that in there. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, get the idea, huh? Wow. And down, hit download, and that will save it. So uh, let's go take a look at the code then. F11. We won't go through the whole little mini app, but we can just check out the pen. So this is the code. There's the pen. And that's another thing that we did, did a change anyway, is that we default now to round for a line. So if the pen is a line, which is the default, then you get a round end. Well, the round end gives you quite a different effect. Open in the default browser, there we go. So, oh, those are too big to even see the, there we go. <laughs> it's like a bunch of sausages or something like that, isn't it? Weird, huh? So because we're changing the color of the pen as we go, if it's round, it keeps on leaving little round circles and then the color changes. So that's uh, that's not too good. Maybe what we should do is make it, well, we don't know. Where are we animating the colors or changing the color? What do we do? Constant, crop scale. Pull color is white, but where did we change the color of the pen itself? When we start, we change, ah, that's it. So we're dynamically setting the color of the pen if we wanted to, ah, yes, I remember now, okay. So if we took that series and put it right into the pen for its color, color, like so, then it knows, oh, I've got a bunch of different colors. I'm going to automatically make it a butt. So here we go, we refresh. Oops, I am going to put a comma in here and then automatically it will know that we've got a series. Let's see, yeah, good. So now that we have a series of colors, you see all the different colors, it knows it looks better as but. So the default is actually um, a but for if there's more a Zim V value in there um, or it's a round if it's a line with no color. However, because we're adjusting that color every time we start the pen, I, I, we didn't need to set the color here, and therefore uh, one solution is to set the butt. <clears throat> okay, we've got a crop scale. We're animating the crop scale probably, are we? Oh, no, we're setting the crop scale depending on a pen setting down here. But what we really want to do is check out this pull color. So no pull color. It would then not do a pull color. Oh... I can't remember. Is there anything about a pull color here? S. Sliders. Current value. Don't know what S is. Just the pen to match the size. Oh, size. Yeah. Okay. Nothing about a pull color. So presumably, if we begin now, despite the fact that this says pull, we get no uh, string. So string is the pull color. And let's make it red. Now we're going to have a red pull color. So there's a red string. And if we wanted to, we could make that uh, bigger, How about 10. So now we've got a red pull color of 10. Uh, it's like a pull stick. <laughs> Wee. okay. I can play around with that a little bit if you so desire. I'm just going to undo though. Yes, that's good. All right. And if you want to see what that little app is like, uh, you're welcome to come in and check out that code as well. That would be more of a Zim Explore. This is a Zim Bubbling where we're just wanting to show you the new features. Zim Explore are longer videos where we like go through everything in a feature or an app, if you want to call it that. And take a look, we're on the last one. So if I hit next, it's back to the down states from back in Zim 01 right there. So these ones, oh, oh, it looks like I need to adjust where Zim 01 goes and wraps around. So we'll do that, I'll fix that up for us. Um, but if you press on this, it comes to all of them here and there's where we got to. So we've looked at, um, right through from the connectors on down to pen. What we need to do next though, is take a look at all of the updates. There are many, many more updates. So if we go into the docs here and then hit updates like so, we've looked at the main features. There's the editor, for instance, theme. 
So we've looked at some of the main features, but not all of the main features. And we want to tell you things. Hey, we've got some new gray colors, you know, things like that that we haven't told you yet. All right. So we'll see you back for another uh, What's Bubbling at Zim in the very near future. And I am Dr. Abstract. Uh, thanks for hanging out here. You're welcome to come in if you're still here. You're welcome to come in and join us at zimjs.com slash discord, zimjs.com slash slack. We'd love to see you at either of those places. Um, have a great day or night. Cheers. <laughs>